June Lockhart, an actress known for her roles in classic television shows such as Lassie and Lost in Space, stands out from her contemporaries for her versatility and longevity in the entertainment industry. Her ability to seamlessly transition between dramatic and comedic roles captivated audiences during her era. Do you have a cherished memory associated with her work? We would love to hear your stories and memories in the comments below. Keep watching this video for funny, shocking, and sad facts about her career. Exploring the world of classic movies and TV shows can unveil a treasure trove of timeless entertainment. One such gem is a series that follows the adventures of a loyal collie and the family she belongs to. In this heartwarming show, viewers are taken on a journey filled with love, friendship, and the bond between humans and animals. Another beloved series from the same era takes audiences on a thrilling ride through space where a family navigates the wonders and dangers of the unknown cosmos. This futuristic show captures the imagination with its captivating storytelling and unforgettable characters. Among the many films featuring talented actors from this era, there's a psychological thriller that keeps viewers on the edge of their seats with its gripping storyline and memorable performances. It's a film that showcases the early talent of an actress who would go on to become a household name. And let's not forget the enchanting musical that continues to charm audiences to this day. Set in a vibrant city, this movie is filled with catchy tunes and heartfelt moments that make it a perennial favorite for viewers of all ages. Lastly, there's a poignant drama set against the backdrop of rural America, where themes of family, love, and loss are explored with depth and emotion. It's a film that resonates with audiences long after the credits roll. For those looking to delve into the world of classic entertainment, these selected projects offer a captivating introduction to the talent and charm of the actors involved and the timeless appeal of their work. Debuting in the film world as Belinda Cratchit in A Christmas Carol, the beginning of June Lockhart's cinematic journey set the stage for her expansive career. Transitioning from the big screen to television, she took on iconic roles like Maureen Robinson in Lost in Space and Timmy's mom in Lassie, showcasing her versatility. Beyond her on-screen accomplishments, Lockhart embraced a new role in her personal life as a grandmother to Carlisle Taylor, Zane Taylor, and Christiana Trilo. This connection between her professional and personal realms added depth to her narrative, resonating with audiences who recognized her not only as a talented actress, but also as a family figure. In summary, June Lockhart's journey in the entertainment world spans from her film debut to memorable television roles, all while embracing the joys of grandmotherhood. This multifaceted experience creates a narrative that goes beyond the screen. In the vibrant world of 1950s entertainment, our protagonist stood out as a beacon of knowledge on the quiz show who said that, alongside White House correspondents. This unique experience not only granted her a special standing invitation to White House press briefings, but also brought an unexpected delight to her life. Adding a personal touch to the professional journey, her daughter, Elizabeth Lockhart, made a memorable appearance on a Petticoat Junction episode titled Last Train to Pixley in 1970. Beyond the glitz of the screen, this individual's influence reached far and wide, leaving an indelible impact on the industry. Navigating through different facets of a remarkable career, this luminary's legacy continues to resonate. Crafted with care and insight, this narrative captures the essence of a personality who transcended the ordinary in the entertainment landscape. In a Magnum P.I. episode, something really heartwarming happened. The actress saw her own daughter playing her younger self in the show. It made the experience special for both of them. Besides acting, she spent time promoting the beauty of California state parks. She wanted people to appreciate and take care of nature. She worked as an ambassador for the parks, spreading awareness about conservation. In another show, She Wolf of London, she worked hard, even on Christmas Eve. She wanted everything to be perfect, so they had to do retakes. This shows how dedicated she was to her job, working through the holiday season. Her impact on the entertainment industry is not just about acting. She also worked with her family, supported the environment, and put in extra effort for her roles. Looking back, the Magnum P.I. episode, her work for California State Parks, and the Christmas Eve retakes tell the story of a determined and hardworking actress. In her first role as Isabel de Praslin in a movie called All This, and Heaven Too, she was different from the other kids in the film. While the others didn't continue acting as they grew up, she did. People loved watching her on screen, and critics praised her acting skills. She set a strong foundation for her future in the entertainment industry. Later on, she played Maureen Robinson in a TV show called Lost in Space. This role showed how talented and adaptable she was as an actress. As Maureen, she showed intelligence, grace, and strength 
becoming a well-known figure in science fiction TV. Off screen, she was known for her unique personality, like her love for driving a 1923 fire engine around the movie studio lot. Her achievements were significant. Throughout her career, she got two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. This shows how much she influenced both movies and TV. The stars in Hollywood, California remind everyone of her work in entertainment. June Lockhart's memory and work continue to inspire actors and fans today, showing the magic of movies and TV. In the world of TV entertainment, transitions can be both challenging and transformative. When a beloved character leaves a show, it can create a void that's difficult to fill. Such was the case when a key actor fell ill during the production of a popular TV series. The departure left the show's creators scrambling to maintain its appeal. Eventually, they introduced a new character, played by a seasoned actress with a passion for space exploration. The addition of this new character injected fresh energy into the show, but unfortunately, the ratings didn't rebound as expected. Despite efforts to revitalize the series, its popularity continued to wane, leading to its eventual conclusion after a couple more seasons. Outside of her TV career, the actress had a keen interest in space studies. She immersed herself in the world of NASA, rubbing shoulders with astronauts and their spouses at dinners and conventions. Her involvement with the space community not only added depth to her public image, but also showcased her multifaceted interests beyond acting. Overall, her versatility as an actress and her enthusiasm for space exploration left a lasting impact on both the entertainment industry and the scientific community. Born to actors Jean Lockhart and Kathleen Lockhart, the daughter of the renowned duo shared the screen with both in A Christmas Carol. Notably, her parents were highly skilled actors. Throughout her career, she formed lasting friendships with numerous notable figures in the entertainment industry. Her circle included Shirley Jones, Angela Lansbury, Florence Henderson, B. Arthur, Charlotte Ray, Ann Jeffries, Buddy Epson, Irene Ryan, Edgar Buchanan, Eddie Albert, Frank Cady, Paul Henning, Jane Wyman, Hugh Riley, Guy Williams, Jonathan Harris, Mark Goddard, Irwin Allen, Marion Ross, Esther Roll, Barbara Billingsley, Jack Klugman, Alan Hale Jr., Carol Channing, Rose Marie, Julie Newmar, Esther Williams, Phyllis Diller, Tippi Hedren, Dick Tufeld, and Mickey Rooney. In 1948, she earned recognition on Broadway, securing the Tony Award for Outstanding Performance by a newcomer for her role in the play For Love or Money. This accolade highlighted her early success and talent on the stage. Her diverse connections in the entertainment industry and the Tony Award win underscore her impactful presence in the world of acting. In a famous Christmas movie, she played the character Belinda Cratchit, along with her parents Jean and Kathleen Lockhart. Not only did she shine in this classic story, but she also hosted the 1966 Miss Universe contest at the Jackie Gleason Studio in North Miami Beach. She wasn't just good on screen, she also wowed audiences with live performances. Plus, she's the mother-in-law of Adam C. Taylor. From movies to TV, she's left her mark, inspiring artists and viewers alike. In the realm of television, it's not unusual for casting changes to shake things up. During the fifth season of a well-known series, a switcheroo occurred when one actor, initially not content with their role, led to disagreements with the cast and crew. Ultimately, two actors were replaced, and this unexpected turn paved the way for a new chapter in the show. Beyond this TV drama, the same actor took on a role in a film named Sergeant York. Interestingly, as of April 2022, this individual stands as the last surviving credited cast member from the movie. It's worth noting that two other actors from Sergeant York unfortunately passed away within a month of each other in 2015. Changes in the cast and the passage of time have left this individual as a witness to the unfolding stories in the world of entertainment. The shifts in personnel and the unique position of being the last surviving credited cast member in Sergeant York shed light on the dynamics within the industry. Interviewed about her Western TV credits in the book Wild Wild Westerners by Tom Weaver. She portrayed the principal in Lost in Space, where surviving cast members made cameo appearances. Dick Tufeld returned as the voice of the robot. Mark Goddard played the general, and June Lockhart appeared as Will Robinson's principal. Marta Kristen and Angela Cartwright played reporters. Bill Mummy and Jonathan Harris, though supportive of the new movie idea, didn't appear in it. Mummy's request to play the older Will Robinson was declined, and Harris refused any part other than Dr. Smith. Harris did return as Dr. Smith and Lost in Space Forever. Additionally, June Lockhart appeared in two Best Picture Oscar nominees, Sergeant York and The Yearling, Explored for her roles in sci-fi, in horror TV and movies as highlighted in Tom Weaver's book, 
they fought in the creature features, she showed her acting skills beyond well-known characters. Not just an actress, she also spoke out against the Vietnam War. Her part as the mom in the Lassie series made her popular, and playing the grown-up version of Elizabeth Taylor's character from Lassie Come Home and the Son of Lassie proved her ability to take on different roles. Both on screen and in addressing social issues, she became a well-known figure in and outside the entertainment industry. Her venture into sci-fi and horror genres displayed her ability to take on diverse roles and capture audiences with her performances. Beyond the usual character types, she explored new areas, leaving a lasting impression on the realms of imagination and fear. The nuanced portrayal of her character in The Son of Lassie not only showed her acting skills, but also confirmed her status as an adaptable artist. Moreover, her outspoken stance against the Vietnam War added depth to her public image, going beyond her on-screen roles. She used her platform not just for entertainment, but also to talk about important social issues, gaining praise for her courage and conviction. In Tom Weaver's insightful book, They Fought in the Creature Features, her involvement in the sci-fi and horror genres is thoroughly examined, giving a deeper understanding of her role in the cinematic world. The book delves into the details of her roles, emphasizing the importance of her presence in a genre that often goes against traditional norms. In summary, June Lockhart's impact goes beyond the screen, including a range of roles that show her versatility and a commitment to social causes that goes beyond the temporary nature of show business.